Heartbroken families and friends entered the Colina Park Cemetery in Niteroi, outside Rio de Janeiro, to say their final goodbye to Dom Phillips, a portrait to remember the 57-year-old British journalist, his coffin draped with the yellow and green flag of Brazil, his home for the past 15 years, a moment of grief for his Brazilian and British family. He was killed because he tried to tell the world what was happening to the rainforest and its inhabitants. We are committed to continue that work, even in this time of tragedy. The story must be told. His tearful wife, Alessandra Sampaio, thanked the search efforts to find him and the sympathy expressed in Brazil and across the world. The global mobilization for solidarity, justice, and awareness of the need to preserve nature and the people who protect it brings us enormous hope. Phillips, who was working on a book called How to Save the Amazon, was killed along with Bruno Pereira, an indigenous expert who was reportedly the prime target. Three men have been arrested, but others could be linked to the murders. Pereira was buried Friday in a ceremony in the northern state of Pernambuco that was attended by indigenous peoples who chanted farewell to the man who had spent much of his life working with isolated Amazonian tribes. Both men were killed in the Jabari Valley, the largest refuge for indigenous tribes living in isolation and nearly the size of Portugal, but also a haven for poachers, illegal fishers and cocaine traffickers. The killings of Tom Phillips and Bruno Pereira have cast an international spotlight on the dangers of trying to defend Brazil's Amazon and its indigenous population. Many here hope their deaths may spark change in the region. Outside the cemetery, one more protest among the many that have taken place, all demanding justice for the two men. The world needs to know that Brazil looks at the Amazon and its indigenous people and only sees extermination and exploitation. We need to stop this at once and for all. Holding a banner that read who ordered the killings of Dom and Bruno, they say there is much more to tell. Brazil's police are investigating whether the deaths could have been commissioned by others than the men already in custody. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.